All right, so if you have a shark vacuum with dual clean technology, it's really important to keep them maintained. They are some of the best uh, floor nozzle technology in the industry, I think, but they do need to be maintained. And that includes taking these soft rollers off, uh, washing them, getting the debris that gets stuck behind them, and then of course cleaning the brush roll as normal. Now the issue is that, that they're different. Uh, the way that you take off the soft roller is different with various dual clean models. For example, in this model, the uh, NV800 series, and a lot of the Shark Rockets will have eject buttons. So you just simply push down on that and you can pull this right out. I just cleaned this behind there. There was a lot more debris, but a lot of debris gets stuck behind there and can impede the performance. As far as putting it back in, it's pretty simple. It's got kind of a little series of pins there. And all you mainly have to do is make sure this is lined up. So we get that in there good. Line that up flush. Push it in until you hear it click. And it's fine. Um, with even the ones with that have the eject button, they will also on the front side have brush roll access buttons. You need to push those both at the same time. Most of them will include a little hair remov removal tool like this. Uh, and they have little grooves that you can use to get the hair off, although this one's particularly bad, so I'd probably use scissors and get all this debris out, but it's incredibly important. If you don't get all this debris, this is causing a good deal of loss of suction because of the thickness of that debris there. But we need to move on to the ones that do not have an eject button to show you how to remove those. And for this example, we will use uh, the Apex, I suppose. And in this case, we need to access the soft roller by first taking off the access brush roll plate on the front. And once we do that, we're going to be able to see that there's a little pull, pull tab here. And you just simply pull that out. And there you go. Shark recommends washing these with water only and then letting them completely dry. That's important because you don't want your uh, vacuum sucking up water and the suction in these is pretty powerful so it just might get water into the engine unless this is completely dry. You can buy replacements um, for these on various places. I'll put links. I think the Shark website is probably the only place at the moment that is selling these. Uh, but you need to make sure they're the right one for your model because they're different sizes uh, for just about every single brush roll. Other than that, maintenance with these, and I guess I should say that putting this back in is similar. Um, here we have it's kind of reversed in that it's kind of a female to the uh, male in this case. And we just want to line this back up and we can kind of feel it snap in there good. And putting this back in place is just about as easy as can be. Um, so that's pretty much it. As far as other maintenance stuff, there's really not much other than making sure this is all cleared of debris. But keep your dual cleans maintained and they'll last a long time. These replacement soft rollers are fairly cheap as far as shark parts are concerned. I mean, relatively speaking, they're like $17, $18, which is not bad. Usually shark parts tend to be a little bit more expensive. But that's good because this is sort of the weak point. These I could see these getting really dirty if you vacuum something muddy or whatever but for the most part they stay fairly clean a lot cleaner than i would have anticipated so uh, thanks for watching be sure to subscribe if you're interested and consider a like if this video helped you out